I'm joined by Enzio von Feil from Commercial Economics Asia. Enzio, good morning. Thanks very much for joining Thank us today. Thank you, Mark. I mean, Thank 2011 you. is the year that I suppose investors hope that China will tackle inflation. What measures is it going to have to implement Enzio to ensure that it achieves that end? In theory, it should really be tightening monetarily. In practice, it won't be doing that, Mark, because there are too many vested interests that want pockets of the Chinese economy to grow very strongly. So whilst I would argue that they need to tighten monetarily and they also need to introduce structural reforms, particularly in agriculture, I'm afraid that this just isn't going to happen so quickly. Well, I mean, what sort of pressure I, I suppose the, the Chinese are, are, are renowned for, for, for being able to ignore external pressure. But it sounds as if raising rates w would, be the, would be the best solution. Or would raising rates just attract more capital, Enzio? Well, it wouldn't really attract more capital that means something, Mark, because, of course, the capital can't really come into China. Mm. But raising rates, I think, would certainly, of course, dampen all the construction activity. But there you run bang into the vested interests of the construction industry itself, which, of course, doesn't want to see a slowdown. Banks, of course, don't want to see a slowdown in their businesses. So my bets are that you'll find in interest rates rising by about only two percentage points, whilst inflation, the real inflation, is actually about 15% or so. What about letting the yuan band widen further, Enzio? That surely would help matters, wouldn't it? It would help very little because the bulk of China's growth rate is really through its exports, not, mm. not, and it's not impeded too much through its imports. So you don't get too much imported inflation. So I'm afraid that that wouldn't, or deflation, of course, with the renminbi rising. So I don't think that that would help a lot. I think the best really, as you were saying before, Mark, yeah. would be to raise the interest rates, but that's just not going to happen. Outside of China, Enzio, um, what's going to be the big, who's going to be the, the, the big success story in, in 2011, do you think? Oh, I think India will continue doing very well. Their economic time is characterized by an excess supply of money, excess demand for goods. And what this means is that the corporate profits there will continue doing very well. And indeed, I think also Japan might surprise on the upside for a change, brackets closed. Are there any clouds on the horizon for Asian economies next year, NGO? Not getting to grips with inflation is going to be a huge cloud on the horizon. The second one is going to be increasing trade tension with America because of the coming elections in the states. And I think, again, Asia will become America's whipping boy. Then, of course, thirdly and finally, you have those geopolitical tensions. Korea has not gone away, nor have the Thai problems gone away. So you've got three clouds on the horizon, sadly. Thanks, Enzio. Have a good holiday. Enzio von Fahl there from Commercial Economics Asia.